I never liked labels or being labeled. I didn't necessarily have a vision of a certain type of artist I wanted to be. Work always kind of came first, and wherever that intuition led me, is I kind of followed it. Almost just like a very basic, primal, childlike curiosity. I started tattooing at 16. You know, I was always drawing before then for many years, and because I was so used to using my hands, I, I wanted to see what this was about. Once I got a hold of it, and it kind of just felt very natural to me. It felt very intuitive because it's, it's very similar to the way I draw. I think I kind of went full circle back to what pulled me into drawing. Because as a kid, I was always exposed to all these old master books and drawings. What interested me was how they developed their craft, their creative process that applied to everything. I think through focus, discipline, and persistence, you can cultivate a level of mastery. By knowing the way broadly in one art, you can see the same patterns in basically everything. And that's where sculpture comes into play. Tattooing and sculpture share similar qualities in terms of process. What those two things I feel like have in common is that single constant of change. That uncomfortable place of chaos has a order to it. It forces you to be vulnerable. It's almost like, out of necessity, your creativity is, is being pushed, rather than just kind of, you know, sitting comfortably back with what you already know. I always was looking at Carrera in the mountains of uh, Italy because that's the original place from Michelangelo and on where they got their stone. And that is the same mountain since beyond the Roman times where this whole marble mining process began. What was beautiful about Carrera is the people. It's a small place. Everyone's just kind of doing what they're supposed to be doing and going to work. But it has this really deep artistic history. So when I went there, I was really lucky to meet people that really welcomed me and embraced me. And life is simple because the most basic things are valued. The fact that Michelangelo was walking through this pathway with his team and he was undergoing this process of beginning to become a sculptor. And there's something beautiful about that, for the chance for me to even experience that same environment. What inspired me for this project is the impermanence of nature. Life is sustained by the balance of death. The key to any transformation, I think, is through adversity. And just like the creative process, I think all forms of growth have to undergo a cycle of change. Nothing really of value or nothing that is great on scale can ever be done by any one individual. It has to be done through the team multiple teams of people to get an idea from concept to the next phase that undergoes so much of change. I don't see sculpture as a departure. It's really just the same visual language I think I'm trying to learn and develop for myself as an artist, but also just a progression from it. So it's not leaving tattooing. It's almost growing out of tattooing, just like tattooing grew out of drawing. The moment that I think I figured everything out, then I'm in trouble. And I think that's the whole idea behind it, because as a beginner, everything's bright. As a beginner, the hunger is, is still there. Anything is possible. If you are able to see something and you are willing to put in the work to 
develop it. You can create that thing. Throughout the creation of this sculpture, I've surrendered to the fact that death is a part of nature beyond my control, and really that it can happen at any moment. But instead of living in fear, I think it's important to face it and remember to respect that life is short and to never take it for granted. What really matters to me is being grateful for the moment and creating something of value greater than myself.